Let's get over to Peyton. Yeah, much needed rain. I thought it was just going to be like a 10 minute storm, but it lasted a really long time. It did. It came down on the North Shore. It rained a little bit at our house here in the city, but it honestly not going to do much to the drought here on the South Shore. We need some rain. We also need some relief from the ex extreme heat, and I've got it for you today. This is the best forecast I've had in probably a solid month or so. I have us in the low 90s this afternoon, a high temperature around 93 degrees, and the best part is that humidity is not high, so we're not going to have a significant heat index today. There's no heat advisory. There are no heat warnings. They will be back in a couple days though. As you can see, the humidity starts to ramp back up and by Friday and through the weekend, it's going to be like it has been hot, muggy, record highs, one teens with your feel like. So please enjoy today and tomorrow will be that transition day where it's back to the uh, what we've just been dealing with all summer record heat 99 on Friday 100 Saturday 99 Sunday Monday and Tuesday if I could throw a big question mark on there I would because what happens Monday and Tuesday is all contingent on what happens out in the tropics now we're not worried about these two features out in the tropics these are not going to be an issue for anyone in the United States in the near term we watch these things long term this might grab your attention though and I've been talking about this the past couple of days Hurricane Center is highlighting the Gulf of Mexico a low chance of maybe a tropical wave trying to organize a little bit into early next week so it's Wednesday right now this would not happen until like Monday or Tuesday so we still have many many days to watch this thing and in fact the tropical wave that's going to be uh, moving into the Gulf is nowhere on this map. It's actually over here. And if you watch off your screen, this plume of moisture coming on up towards the islands in South Florida by this weekend. So by this weekend, some enhanced rain and moisture down here to South Florida and into the islands. The big question right now is where does this moisture go once it gets in the Gulf of Mexico? This specific model keeps it on the northern Gulf Coast, and this would be great for us. This would bring us some nice rain by Monday and into Tuesday of next week. There is a caveat, though. It's not a guarantee it plays out like this. When you look at other models, they're not as far to the north. Several models have it staying in the central Gulf, heading towards South Texas. Other models like the GFS coming in here, you can see in the red, there's a European. Look at the spread there. That's fairly massive when you're talking about weather. The GFS keeping it south of us and keeping most of the rain south of us. So we would probably see something play out in between this, I imagine. And that could bring us some rain, but it really just depends on how close it gets to us and, of course, how much it organizes. It's going to be riding around our ridge of high pressure. That big heat ridge will be to our north. The strength of this will also determine where exactly it travels. So uh, the weaker the ridge, the closer that moisture may be able to get to us. But once again, this is not a guarantee that we're going to get beneficial rain from this, but it remains a possibility. We really need to give it a couple more days to iron out these details and see how things evolve. Now, is it going to blow up into something big? It doesn't seem very likely, but I will say models might be underestimating how much this wave could organize. They're not doing a very good job, I don't think, because the environment itself doesn't look awful. It doesn't look like we're going to have a ton of wind shear. There's going to be some dry air around, and then, as you know, the water temperatures out here are boiling hot. So we'll see if things change or trend a certain direction. We got plenty of time to watch it once again. I don't think it's going to blow into anything massive where we're freaking out, but hey, maybe we'll get some rain from it. But right now, I'm going to hold it at 30% with the knowing that that number will probably either go up or go down depending on what our trends look like in the models. So enjoy today, enjoy tomorrow. It's still going to be plenty warm with that low humidity. Oh, it feels so nice. You'll notice it the first thing you head out the door. I'll leave you with your marine forecast. Northeast winds today. We'll return back to southwesterly by Friday with a little bit of a chop. High tides run later this afternoon and your low tides are going to run later on.